Paul Dawkins. Oh, he did it again. He broke it again. Chocolate Thunder. Chocolate Thunder, Sir Slam, Squawking Dawkins, everything. He had all kinds of crazy nicknames. For most games, I watch some sort of film of my dad just to understand the mentality. It's a reminder of what my last name Dawkins means to me and our standard of play for my last name. Dawkins rumbled in after Dawkins. Dawkins, number 53. Daryl loved being a parent. That is one of the things, you know, he was an amazing athlete but I think his favorite thing was being a parent. The day that Nick was born and Daryl was the first one to hold him, it was like looking into the sun. They absolutely loved each other. We were very close, me and my dad were very close. I was 13 years old when he passed away. All the things he did in the community, he always brought me along. It was awesome to see. But he never really made it a point to talk a lot about what he did on the court, more so the impact he had off of it. It's the Dawkins Family Foundation. That is in remembrance of my family's commitment to the community. And we help kids in any way that we can. May it be backpacks, that might be, do I have a calculator for this test? That might be cleats, that could be football pads. Anything that they don't have to worry about. We'll have any kid we can. He's waited all this time to be a starter, and right now he's playing really well. Uh, playing really well. He's got his own foundation. He's a captain. I don't put anything past this guy. Nicholas took five years to become the starter, but sometimes you have to go up and down to get to that, but that climb is just as important. That's a huge play right there. Penn State has an opportunity now to put... His dad is much his motivator. Fourth and it kind of just comes full circle. My dad played for the Philadelphia 76ers. Here comes a little pressure. 6'10", that's, that's my home, so being able to represent Pennsylvania is huge for me. Look at all the blue shirts that were there. You need someone to get guys going and fire them up and to be that voice. I'm like I tell you, Nick's that for us. He embraced his role. Yeah, he waited for his turn, and here it is. Life is a journey. The whole world is waiting. When I see my dad, I see myself. For a long time, I did a lot of actions to try to emulate him, just try to be him. And I think the more that I've grown into my own person and invested in myself, the more I actually am like him. I think, I think Daryl would be so proud of Nick. <laughs> I mean, he was already always proud of Nick. Would I love to have Daryl sitting here with me right now? Absolutely. But him seeing Nick now, he would just be so proud of his son. <laughs>